I will call the South County Senior Center Board of Oversight meeting uh, to order December 5th, 2023. The time is 5.11 p.m. Um, this is um, a hybrid meeting. We're holding the meeting both on Zoom and here at the South County Senior Center Sunderland office at 22 Amherst Road, Sunderland, Mass. Um, certain meetings normally held at the municipal office are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access where required public participation provided in accordance with House Bill number 58 of the 193rd General Court, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, Mass General Law, Chapter 38, Section 20, until March 31st, 2025. For purposes of in-person attendance, the town of Deerfield will host the meeting at 22 Amherst Road, Sunderland, with remote participation you'll be able to find on the agenda. So we call the meeting to order. Um, general guidelines, we're all happy, go lucky. Members present, Trevor McDaniel from Deerfield. Jim Murphy, Sunderland. Great, and we're waiting for uh, Joyce, or hopefully she'll she'll join in from Waitley. She just texted me back, so I'm hoping. Oh, great. Yeah, so she may join us in a little bit. Um, I don't think we have any minutes. Yes, right. I just handed yeah. them out to you. Oh, you did? Straps. There's right. only one set. Oh, is it on the back? Did it print out on? No, oh, yeah. it's right there. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, great. There's one Let set of minutes. The other, uh, Chris Goudreau was able to transcribe these for me. The other one, I apologize. I haven't had time to do the one from the other uh, meeting. That from our visit? Um, no, this is one. From the, no, this is from the uh, November 2nd one. Oh, okay. The VOS meeting that we had. Yep. So, um, let's go through this real quick. You review that. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Okay. Right. We'll entertain a motion to approve the minute. A motion to approve the minutes. So we'll move on the circuit. Second. And then all those in favor? Aye. Right. McDaniel, aye. Right. Great. Right. Two zero one. And Joyce, I just want to let you know, Joyce is currently still at work. She's unlikely to get there in time, so to That's continue fine. without her. Okay. Perfect. So fill her in. Okay. Um, and next, next item is the space update. Yes. So you want to wait so, a nice visit. Yes. That was um, really fun. It was great, Dan. Sorry that I'm you couldn't old, make it, old. but you had said you had been there in the past, so you were kind of familiar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. Also, um, one of the documents that Jeff uh, Kravitz sent over to me. Hold on one second. She... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. 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 Um, Jeff Kravitz sent over to me today. We were discussing a color-coded um, situation so we could see how much space that the senior center would need specifically, mm -hmm. how much um, space Sunderland would use specifically, yep. and then there, the overlapping piece in there. So um, it is pretty, um, pretty well entailed where um, when we did the walkthrough, we um, we did the walkthrough where it when we went through like kind of the intro, intro, mm -hmm. me, entryway Intuit. space, yeah. the space to the left where you have the yeah. storage that had the IT equipment, mm -hmm. but we could use that for our food pantry area. The upper part of the, that corridor where the offices are, it also has a nice um, storage space in there for office supplies. Yeah. Um, coming down behind where the kitchen area mm -hmm. is, would be all senior center area and some other space down there. Um, My two cents looking at that, the only space that I felt was big enough for a large area, whether it be shared or not, would yep. be to the right. That large space in the corner. All those yep. buildings, I mean, the rooms could knock out and you could have a decent space in the front right if you're looking at the building. Yep. That's my thought. So but. Jeff and I were talking about that. So this is that. I'm sorry, he color coded this in. So this just gives you an idea when you oh, walk yeah. in. Oh yeah, see the this building. one on the right. The right space here. Okay. Oh, but where is this the? Uh, over... Oh, is that the front? No, where's the front? Better when I print it out. So, um, 
here we go here. Is that no? That's the back. That's, that, the, that's deck. the middle. This is the front. Yeah, no. You have the conference room and out in the other one. Where's, Where's the front door? This is the proposed office floor plan. Because there's there's multiple phases to this job. I mean, the plans are not really new. I mean, they're all. Yeah. Is this the front door? This is. Yeah, this is the front that's door. That's the front door. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, yeah. this space here would be us. Yeah. This would be us. Right. The, the kitchen area here would be shared. That's the other area um, for the kitchen. Right. Now, this is the walking path yep. that would go around. Sure. So, um, and and then, then this is the other section of that, I think. The blue would be somebody that's else. That's the Sunderland. Sunderland yep. space. I think that's, that's the that, far that new, right. The, all, yeah, yeah. The newest wing and is then, all the way in the uh, back. This, yeah. So between. And then here would be the rest of the space in yep. the back. Yeah. And that's the shared space where right. the kitchen would be. Yep. Yep. And then this is where we overlap here. Sure. And this is, you know, that would be. Right. So that's kind of where we came up with yeah. um, the, in our discussion. Because around the loop, the only space that I could see us needing access to, and he did highlight mm -hmm. this, is there's a restroom right. in this general area that yep. has full shower capacity. So if we had anyone who needed to use that room, the bathroom yep. there, right. um, who may have ha have an accident, we would put them in there. I would take as use. much of this as you could for that, because that seems like the only space big enough for enlarging. Exercise. Yeah, yeah, like all the gathering room, meeting room, whatever. It, because, everywhere else was cut up. Yeah, too small to kind of do much with in a large space. But no, I agree with that. It felt like that that one area could Sorry, be, whether it's shared for like a select board meeting at night or the seniors during the day, if you're going to have a big event for whatever. But so I'm thinking like this is that front room to the right. And yes. This is that, so when you walk in here, I'm not entryway. sure the last time you were in here, but mm -hmm. this is the entryway to here is a reception desk. Mm -hmm. Here is a big like um, you could make it your copier and right. other things there. But, um, you know, over here is a big room section. There's These are two spaces right now. Right. So we would take down this wall here, and we would go and do um, – I want to actually take these first two offices to make that another one, one space. Yeah, and make it as big as you can. Um, but there's the hallway there as well. Yeah. So I don't know if we would, you know, be looking at something here because the only way to get to this other space like this is the conference area here. Yep. This is the kitchen. Um, is there would be a login? Um, not sorry, login. Hi, Joyce. Can you hear us? Um, so. Can you hear us, Joyce? Uh, I just heard you. I didn't hear anything before you. Okay. No, just wanted to make sure. Um, so we just basically re reviewed the old minutes. They um, did the, They approved those. And we're just looking at a, a document Jeff Kravitz just emailed over to me a little while ago, just showing um, what his thought would be as to what space Sunderland would use specifically shared space and senior center space. So we're being, we're both flexible. So I'm going to come back with him and just mm -hmm. add another section as to like another area for um, exercise, a bigger room for one other section. Um, so okay. we're just looking at that on my computer and I can email that to you. Great. Sounds good. Yeah. So you'll work on that and get back to us. Yeah. Hopefully they're still moving forward on well, figuring out cost. this, um, so, Joyce, can you hear? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying uh, so, to turn off the camera here. Cause, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure you can hear it. That's all. Okay. Um, so, Jeff came back and crunched the numbers and to a mortgage on this space for, I think, the 1.8 million mm -hmm. is eleven thousand dollars a month um if we bumped our rent to four thousand that would still leave seven thousand dollars a month needed um and jeff and i talked about you know the community um 
and, and other ways to do some potential fundraising, um, you know, to try to bring that cost down. Um, and that obviously doesn't even include the recent um, capital requests that I sent to sent to the towns. I haven't sent one to Sunderland yet because, number one, I wasn't sure if they would incorporate that based on the fact that they'd be paying for the building or not and, you know, a bunch of other factors. I'm still going to submit it so that way if we do want to <coughs> submit that later, um, you know, it can be looked at. But I just wanted to uh, just let you know. So it's the ballpark number is around $11,000 for a mortgage payment. Wow, that seems high though, right? Because that's almost $4 million over 30 years. He's doing 15 to 20, right? Oh, oh is he? Okay. He's, he didn't tell me what it. the terms were, Got so. It. Okay. So he's one of 15 and one of 20. Okay. okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. That's good to know. Yep. Thank you, Dan. Um, All right. Well, yeah, we'll let's so, figure it out. Sounds so at good. this if, point, I if think. If it's such a short loan period, would that mean that we only have to pay this rent during the loan period? Like, I, it seems to yeah. me like if, if, if one of the reasons why the rent is so high is that the loan period is really short. And I, I, I don't disagree with that. Um, mm -hmm. Then I would think once the building is paid off, I mean, it, I, I think it, the rent is, I mean, if we were expected to pay 7000 instead of 4000 then it seems like we need some other kind of deal because I think that's not sustainable. Right. Do you know what I mean? Well, I think we're, look I we're, think we're looking, looking at the 4000 Yep. And then um, I, I – Oh, I see. Yeah, I, thought were, I thought no, you no, were saying we're that. that – The senior center, would we could afford up to $4,000 because of how – what we're paying now, which I think is $3,600, right. so if we added yeah. another $400, we could swing it. Yeah. Um, you know, but we would have to, so Sunderland would have to figure out the other 7000 and they, you know, Jeff's concern was he's unsure if the town's people would support that or not. Yeah. So that's where yeah. I came back with ideas of fundraising to offset, you know, some of the cost of the purchase price. Because if you make various lump sum payments, I assume, and this is obviously, mm -hmm. usually you're mm -hmm. not penalized for the type of mortgage you have. Yeah. And then I think once it, even once it's paid off, I generally <laughs> assume we put money in for maybe not the same amount, but maybe we would come up with an MOU to figure this out, but that way we'd have money set aside for capital for the building yep. as we maintenance typically do with, yeah, maintenance and other that things thing. that could come up. So, yeah, heat and all that. So. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but maybe it might not need to be so so large once we're paid. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. And obviously, um, you know, uh, so since we're talking about the space update, um, I at this point, um, you know, there was another building that was mentioned that was for sale for less than what this place is asking, but this place, um, from the visual, is larger, and and you know the other space is only thirty eight. 100 square feet or just under 3,900 square feet. Right. But this other space, the Plum Tree Road is in, a, is in better shape and I think is configured that even if we wanted to, you know, take down and, and spread around walls and other spaces, that it would be more um, purposeful for what we're looking for. Yeah, um, this space is 13,000, is that right? It's, it's just, it's around 12,000, oh. just under 13, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, so going from just under 4,000 to just under 12 is, yeah. is large difference. But if you look at how it's configured out, mm -hmm. um, you know, and the fact that, yes, Sunderland would have some accommodation for spacing, um, I don't know if there's other departments, at, you know, in, in your town that need need an office or mm -hmm. different things. I mean, there's so yeah. many different sure. um, pieces to the puzzle. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, but I'm going to go back and just make some changes where I think we should expand for um, just a couple, just one section there in the front along that right wall because I think we need that additional space. Yeah. Um, All right. For that. 
And then we, you know, we talked about sharing the basement space. We could work that out. Yeah, sure. It doesn't seem like a high water table, although there, it was a dehumidifier noted mm -hmm. down in the um, far end where the boiler system or water heater was in the front part of the building where that walk yeah. um, space was. So that's just something to note. Obviously, if you're, you wouldn't want to put anything that would be destroyed by moisture and other things in there. Yeah, the sink um, green. Yeah. Yep. So... I don't, and I don't recall when we did our initial walkthrough earlier this year, the manager did not give any indication that there was any water issues right. in that front part. And there's nothing on the ground no, that looks like it either. No stains or anything. Yeah. So, um, okay. Good. Are All we right. still talking so about that, 23 Plum Tree? Yes, yeah. ma'am. <laughs> okay. Th so the dehumidifier in the basement, that whole discussion was 23 Plum Tree. And you mentioned yep. uh, yet another place? that um Jeff, Jeff shared that there was a space further down on one that's for sale it's um just under 3900 square feet and it's on the market for one million but it does it i to me i think it's more of a in a floodplain compared to the other space um so i would be curious to see if you could expand the, the existing footprint there um what was it what? I don't know the building. It's, it's, American it's, it's on just, the left, just, just the before. Left yeah, just before that, and Bob's. It's, it's on almost the really left. Across, almost really across the street. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, across the street. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you want to hear more about that building, Joyce? He's muted. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. So that's the update. But the other all thing right. to note. And, I, and Dan, I don't know what the timeline is for Sunderland if they're going to move forward with a purchase or, you know, talking with the realtor on that because we're in this space, um, the church, we have to sign an extension for, for the lease yeah. before the end of this month. And then we, yeah, this month. well, because I think our lease goes through the end of December. Okay. Um, we signed an extension already on this space the 22 Amherst Road space through um, the end of, I think it's April. And then the church, we could be out through the end of May before we hit our procurement cap on both. So my concern is where do we go once those run out? Because I know Sunderland's annual town meeting is not until the end of April. Jeff had mentioned, I don't know where, you know, you'll know way more about this. Yeah. Thing, but he said, we could try to do a special pump it up a little bit. Okay. I don't know what, I don't have a yeah. date or anything. Right. I did, I did cause advocate for that earlier. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was like, hey. No, so you brought that up. You brought that up. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll wait to so, hear from Sunday but, on that. But that's good to know. Because the other alternative for large space, like, like we can be here through the end of April. Yeah. We'd have to put an RFP out, I think, at least 30 days before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know that um, this – Delta Sand and Gravel would be open to, a, you know, to apply or responding to the RFP. Sure. Um, I don't know who else might be interested in responding, yeah. um, but the town of Waitley's town hall, the renovated town hall, um, would be available for us to use in the larger space upstairs. Um, I've already spoken with Brian mm -hmm. Domino about that as well as Joyce before. For temporary. For temporary, you know, until we got a larger space if, if we couldn't use the church for what whatever reason. Okay. Um, so just for for everyone's yeah. updates. I think we should um, prepare to, to be ready to do an RFP. It's not that hard. Yeah. I think our, t our town administrators are good at this. Okay. There's, uh, and we know who's going to respond. It'll be the church, and it'll be the yeah. folks who are renting from now. I don't think we're going to have a flood of other people. What in right. you know what wonderful situation it would be if we were flooded with other opportunities to rent for a lower price somewhere else, you know? Sure. So I I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't be very fearful yeah. of the the prospect of doing an RFP, but and you yeah. know there's things like 30 days and so on that we have to be aware of. So we should be reevaluating this in February and March, and okay, just okay. figuring out if we're going to need to do an RFP. It's it's not as big a deal as right. people might think. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and uh, 
let the TAs know about yeah, that request now so we're prepared like ahead of time. Whatever. Yep. We're just covered. No, nope, I'm, yep. I'm on board with that because I want us to have a space. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, hey, we have a program. Again, oh, yeah. Hey, it'll be warm. We could do the tents right, again. Right, we'll get the tents Not going. Really. <laughs> I don't want to do a tent. No, um, I don't want to ever know about that. Unless it's a picnic. <laughs> unless it's a picnic. We're not exactly. interested in yeah. Um. Okay, so moving. Any more questions about space? Nope. All right. I'm... Um, uh, Trevor, you're running. You're oh, just uh, I was kind of chairing while you were while you weren't here. Uh, the I, um, IMA and consortium agreements. Is this just a holding space, or is it something we need to work on? It's a holding space, but I want to bring a couple pieces to your attention. Um, okay. So I have a meeting on Thursday to share what South County Senior Center has to offer with the Mass and Motion Group in Conway. Okay. And after that meeting, I am meeting with um, Patricia Lynch, who's the COA director, as well as Veronique Blanchard, the town administrator for Conway. Great. Okay. Um, when I um, sent an email update to Veronique to let her know where we were with the vehicle piece, and I'll get to that in Section D about cost, okay. I also shared with her the potential, where we are with this potential new building, mm -hmm. and sharing what I was asking for capital requests mm -hmm. and where that could potentially be. Because as you're familiar with Trevor, with Deerfield's road uh, washouts and such, Conway is, oh God, hit got hit too. worse. Yeah. Um, and her response was, you know, she'll leave it up to Phil Cantor and the select board to get back on this, but they, she's not sure if they could afford front a hundred thousand dollars based on is where that the they buy are. To the MMA? Well so to here's the, the thing. IMA? Technically there's no buy in to join us. Okay. And that's one thing I want to be clear about. But moving forward, um for the capital request for um the construction costs mm -hmm. and I put in a hundred thousand dollars additional hundred thousand dollars for content for furniture mm -hmm. Because we didn't get the SIG grant for the appliances, right. we you know that's yep. around it was around twenty two thousand dollars for appliances, oh, yeah. maybe up to thirty. With, well, the ancillary system is going to be. Well, the ancillary it. wasn't even in that. That right. was just for the other money. pieces. But just, um, the company that I got pricing from, these were for brand new products, mm -hmm. great quality service, is a decent amount um, for you know for all of that. But that that came in under twenty. That came in under twenty two thousand. So the ancillary um, ancil system would be probably twenty five on its own. It could be less. Um, but then the additional stove the stove top was not something I put in that pricing right. because I wasn't sure when you know how we were going to reconfigure these other items were standalone. They didn't need right. to be built right. in or Whatever. anything. So, yeah. um, so I just want to share that piece. All right. Um, so we would have to. I mean, I almost so, feel like it'd be great to maybe take one meeting at some point. Maybe not a regular meeting, but just a meeting that really all dig in together on the IMA and say, wh where do we want to go forward? You know, I yeah. mean, should we all pay what percentage and like all that kind of thing? Just kind of really talk it over and pull it apart. I don't. This makes sense. Like it feels like we're at a at a fresh start. You yeah. know, at a new place. And how do we? How do we want to see our place going forward, and what would it take to get other towns to join us? Well, or? I, in my opinion, before I threw out the amount of the potential hundred thousand dollars for construction, was that they were very interested in joining mm -hmm. the South County Senior Center. Right. And I think that they could do the annual budget percentage. Right. But I don't think that they could come up with a big balloon. Right. And I respect that. No, I get that too. Um, you know, and I would, I. Mm -hmm. They don't have a physical location. Mm -hmm. um, they're also listening to um, West County about right. the, the services, so that way if seniors go to either location, they know what right. each center offers. And some go out to Shelburne. Yeah. yeah, and and you know that's that's, that's fair and normal far. because some people may live closer. It's a long, long way. Um, yeah. But if they're interested in joining us, you know their their cost. Um, would only be for the vehicle grant, and we'll talk about that a little bit shortly. Mm -hmm. And that's more doable because right. you know, like within the six thousand dollar range, maybe even less, because mm -hmm. we'd have an additional um, partner in here. Yeah. So when we talk about 
pulling this apart, do we want to also invite, um, do we want to pull it apart before we invite Conway to the table? Yeah, I think so. Because, I mean, it really is us and we should figure out what we want to do. And, and how does this work for us now? knowing that we're going to be in a different building. Now we're paying rent. We didn't, never really paid rent other than these spaces that we're doing right now. You know, Deerfield had the building, but we really never really did much to it. It was kind of covering materials and like, but we should figure like, what what should we do going forward on this stuff? And maybe look at SCEM's building as a as a model, figure it out. I don't know. I, I, I know that there were some issues that um, Diane, Cornwell had come up with a while back of like, hey, you guys should look at this kind of thing. I don't remember what they were, but when she did the evaluation before, she said, hey, if you ever do this, you should talk about these things. So we should just do all that at some point. But it might, yeah. it's going to take a few hours to go through, and we should just plan on having time to do that. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem. Meeting. I think, you know, um, for it. what we're working on now is, is exactly where we need to be about that before we, you know, even if Sunderland moves forward to make that purchase and yeah. we, you know, going into that, having yeah. a new structure is yeah, probably a better concept. To, to give Sunderland that, so they're not standing on quicksand going, we're buying this thing, but, you know, you guys could all pull out any second, you know what I mean? We should have some long-term commitment to what we're doing here. Um, I'd love, you know, Joyce's advice on, you know, how, what she thinks of it and go through all that stuff together and kind of come up with a good plan for moving forward. I feel like it's a time to do it before we take a big leap like that. Yeah. yeah I agree. It's pretty timely to, uh, to do that. We might want to set aside, I don't know, something that's not a like six o'clock at night meeting <laughs> or exactly. five o'clock, something where, um, and, and maybe we also set out some homework for ourselves. Like I feel right. like we had we had our MOU, and then we had a um, um, another example from a. I feel like it was from Buckland Shelburne, but it might have been from somewhere else yeah. of the agreement that yep. they made, which wasn't an MOU, but I don't remember exactly what it was. And that yeah. maybe our homework is to read those thoroughly and come up with our questions and maybe yep. among us, we can figure out the answers to a lot of the questions or at least by the end of it, we know what our questions are and, yeah. <laughs> and we can, you know, I, then that, that's how you, you figure out answers. Right. Um, yep. That's a, so, and then that set apart, you know, it, I don't know, everyone's weekend, you know, some sort of things earlier so that we have, several hours to look at something and not not like like you said a six o'clock meeting and by eight we're just like i'll, I'll sign anything <laughs> let me get out of here <laughs> yeah uh, yeah so i don't know that, if that like would a weekday morning or afternoon or even a yeah. weekend morning or afternoon work for people once classes are over my schedule frees up a lot um and classes yeah. end next thursday for me Ooh, good if, for if I have enough, uh, heads up I, yeah. I could certainly make time in my schedule to do that for yeah. sure are we thinking after the first of the year or before yeah probably it's on right oh, no. so. it's the fifth. yeah yeah <laughs> I would say probably so just after so should I send you a doodle poll with yeah. the date, um for weekends and weekdays sure. or just weekdays I'm I'm fine with either or yeah. there are some like like, why, is that, why is that more so a weekend? Right. I can do I can yeah. make a weekday work. Yeah, okay. but, we, but a weekend weekdays. might be better to just come in on a Saturday morning at ten and spend a couple of hours and leave by one or something like that. Or yeah. even we get out at twelve got our stuff, but give us like you said, a, a few weeks to look at it first to come yeah. prepared. So I'm thinking mid to end of January or do you want more mid to beginning? Mid is good for me. Mid I'm gonna to beginning. be away. Yeah, okay. I agree with that. When I'm are you going to be away? I'm going to be away. Um, I'm working with the second to the eighth to be gone. Second to eighth, so yeah, I must have to be mid then because I'm going to be gone. Um, I'm going to be gone the end of January, like the 26th or so, 25th, 26th. Forward, okay. 27th, and then I'm in the middle. 
<laughs> yeah, and that that's that's it. Yeah, the middle's good. And then I'm all right. The middle's good. May the nineteenth. Oh, that's so, oh, all right. Uh, so really, that week of the maybe the twelfth or thirteenth is yeah, you know, or thirteenth, fourteenth, so, something like that. So what about January fourteenth, right now? Sunday or January fourteenth, January twenty twenty four, the the thirteenth. The thirteenth. Yeah, that works for me. It's so, a Saturday. Like Saturday. Yeah. Joy. I think uh, well, let's put that down as a tentative date then. I th- yeah. I have to All double right. check my travel calendar, um, but I think the sure. the conference I'm going to in January is before the 10th, and the next thing I have I have to leave on the 23rd, and I won't be back till February. So that 14th okay. sounds like it's right in the middle of that that little section where I'm Saturday. for sure here. Yeah, let's give it a try. Saturday, yeah, Saturday, so Saturday. The 13th. I'm going to send you all an email and um, tomorrow morning and we'll, we'll shore that yeah. up. Yeah. That, that and we'll do it over at the Sunderland yep. offices and maybe we, yeah. uh, maybe somebody will bring uh, stuff from the wild roots over so we can have uh, a little perfect. brunch together. Sounds really good. Say like 10 o'clock or something. 10 a.m. Like that that yeah. sounds great. Okay. Um, so your homework to read is those. to read <laughs> Uh, if you could write an email in person, yep, I will read yeah. them. Then. <laughs> Get those you may our, not have it yet, Sam. So. So we can look at them. Yep. That'd be great. I can do that. Okay. Can do that, that sounds like a plan. All right. Good. Perfect. Feels good. So, and there will be nothing else on the agenda right. other than that. It's just that. Okay. So, um, all right. Perfect. Thank you so much for, sure. for being agreeable to that. So, capital requests. Um, I submitted. To Waitley and to Deerfield, I blind copied both or all the BOO members just for informational purposes so you could see that I did my job and got nice them in. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Very good. So um, one of the things I want to note is on the last meeting that we had November 2nd, I had asked about voting for each town paying $9,000 each. It was brought to my attention after we talked about that, that the typical split is Deerfield 50% and the other two towns are 25. So I modified the CIPC request to reflect. Um, so Deerfield's portion would be 12,500 and um, the other two towns is $6,250 and that is for the van request. The vehicle so request. that'll be a topic at the meeting. No, I'm kidding. Which meeting? <laughs> <laughs> and so the percentages, yes. No, okay, so 12K for Deerfield. 12.5. 12.5 for Deerfield, and okay. And 62, 62.50 for the other two okay. towns. Yep. Now, if we bring in Conway, everybody's share would go down. Just down, yep. Okay. So um, I'm just throwing that out there yep. because um, they are interested in partnering with us about that grant. But because I said, you know, if there's like a proportion piece for capital request. Yeah. Um, and I'll bring that up with Veronique. But, um, you know, at this point, I will also let her know that we're going to be having a meeting in January to discuss the agreements and in whatnot. And then we'll come back with them to share what, the, you know, the, that discussion was about. Um, so I just want to let you know that I, that I changed it from what we talked about based okay. on the actual percentages right. of the IMA. That's fair. Okay. Um, so the other capital request, um, I did not submit Sunderland's yet. It's not due until later, so I'm taking my time. Plus, I didn't know where we were going to be with the building request. The other request I put out to the other t- or to the two towns for Wheatley and Deerfield at this point was the request um, based on the six hundred thousand dollar mark. I figure ballparking five hundred grand for construction costs, and then a hundred thousand dollars for a furniture. Now, mind you, those costs could be a lot less, but I'd rather go high for the initial request instead of having to go back and ask for money later. Um, as you've seen, like Greenfield's new building, I think it was Greenfield, they had to go back and ask for money to furnish it, their new library or one of their new buildings, and I didn't want to have to face that after the fact. I guess what I was thinking was that Sunderland purchases it, fixes it, and then just gives us the rent. So if, if the rent's Five thousand a month, fifty five hundred bucks a month. 
whatever that is. That way they mortgage it out. Uh, it'll be hard to get 300000 from Deerfield for a capital project. It just will. Okay. This year. So that's but if something we rolled it to, into the mortgage, the mortgage and the rent. But I don't know if it can happen. So that's really a question for Jeff and others. Okay. And, and I maybe we we'll push this in anyways and make it this way that well, don't Figure forget. So or maybe, mark, or maybe you phase hold on, it. Joyce. Well, there's a hundred thousand dollar earmark that we got from Senator Comerford right. for a hundred thousand um, dollars for the regional senior center. Right. So I know that we asked for an, a request extension before, and I don't know if we can get them to do another. I think if they knew where we were in the project phase, that they mm -hmm. would be amenable to that. But that would at least be a hundred thousand dollars towards something. Right. Um, no, I agree yeah. with that. I do. Yeah, and we absolutely sure. try uh -huh. to do that. But yeah. it, it might be so, that, that asking for it in one year is going to be difficult. But asking yeah. for it phased in over three years, because it's going to take time to do all that construction anyway. Um, yeah. If we asked it for over over the course of three years, that makes it um, something like total. You were saying six hundred thousand. Then we ask for two hundred thousand per year, but a commitment to do this over the course of three years. And um, I think we should ask and find out if community preservation funds can be used. Um, I don't know if. That counts as recreation, or if, uh, or if this might count under one right. of the categories that CPA funding can be used for. Yeah. Well, one of the things we talked about at our last meeting, Joyce, was the um, CDBG funds. Um, or actually, that might have been when I I spoke with those three town administrators about some different things, and I printed this off, and. Um, there's grants that come out and the application comes out in January or December, excuse me. Um, and it talks about senior center projects uh, that did not receive subsequent um, assistance for additional construction or reconstruction. Huh. Um, there's some there's some things on here that I think might work, but I didn't mm. know where the other towns have already taken out community development funds. We have none of them. And if because we are three or more regional unit or three or more municipalities for regional, the minimum grant from competitive round is a hundred thousand and the maximum grant from competitive round is one point three two five million. Mm. So you're um, saying you're saying that we we may be able to get a substantial amount of the six hundred thousand dollars we think we need covered by grants. We just don't know that up front. Yes. Yes, the so grant, that, um, the, according to this, the application is due Monday, March 4th. Oh, it gives us a little time. So it gives us a, you know, a couple of months, but this is something um, you know, to act on. I, I found out about this after they had their virtual public information session. It was at the beginning of November 6th, but I think that they have mm -hmm. a meeting link. So yeah. I'm going to email Catherine McNeil or McNeil Nellis. I'm not sure how you pronounce her last name. To ask about that um, because I want to uh, see if we can apply. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't believe this building led remediation. Um, no, new so I think right. I think we're good there. So um, I just wanted to check to see if anybody in other you know the other all the towns had applied for any of this grant no. work before. Once in a while we'll do a uh, we'll do a oh, well. I think if it's the same program or not, but sometimes uh, seniors or residents will apply for a, a block grant to redo their house. Um, yeah, there's that's the only one I know of that that, that our towns have right. participated in. Yeah, same here. And we've done that for people that are, haven't had the money to get a roof but need a roof and yeah. that kind of thing. Um, typically for big middle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good but it's a thought. Yeah, we should. So I'll, find reach, out about I'll reach out yeah. to this person Great. because if we can pay for this with a grant, because um, I know that Brian uh, Joyce has offered um, Sylvie's services for a potential innovative transportation grant with an electric vehicle. Oh, mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, I'd be to work with her on this or anyone else who wants Great. to help out with it. So, yeah. Um, 
Okay. All right. Yeah. So, all right. So I think that's so, like, that. That should be all of that should be part of whatever. Um, when you have to go talk to the various capital committees, um, yep. you know, you the give them the biggest number first so that they're like shocked, right? And then say, well, yes. here's some other ideas. We could phase yep. it over the years. We have these grants that we're looking at. And if we were to phase it in, it might be that we don't need the second and third year or we need less money in the second and third year. Um, but to right. move forward, we need some promise of some funds to be able to do this. So that does that make sense as a strategy? Yeah. Would that and be I think, usable, yeah. do you think, to hear that we're, you know, that there are the but over the multiple years? Mm -hmm. That way, Sunderland's at least, there's some, there's some, um, you know, I want to use a phrase, but I don't think the right phrase, um, you know, that there's some teeth in it or, this, you know, game, yeah. whatever. Right, um, right, because I think what, okay. one of the things the capital planning committees are looking for is have you really thought about this? And are you going to come back in three years and need even more money, right? So, um, I, I, think, I, so I think you're, that you're, you're right to, to put the big number out there and then off, say, here's where I can be flexible in timing and in um, you bet your butt we're going to be looking for grants and you can – certainly somehow drop into the conversation that you managed to get $200,000 worth of grants just this past year for other things at the senior yeah. center. So, so uh, I think, uh, um, yeah, they need to hear that part too. Yeah. So do you think I should revise what I've submitted again, or do you think to include any of that, or do you think I should just do that during the oral presentation? Well, uh, oh. I think for me, I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to, in my mind, see how it goes when we're asking Deerfield to spend three hundred thousand on a building we don't own, even though I'm all in this, um, mm -hmm. and that's why I felt like could you know if it was oh, nobody <laughs> needs to, you rolled into the mortgage and the rent, like then there's no discussion. There's like, hey, here's your mm -hmm. rent. Deerfield pays this amount of the rent, and no one needs to know anything about it. Not that anybody needs to know, but it's it's not one of those things where you get some curmudgeon in the back room going, "We're not spending their money in somebody else's building," <laughs> and somebody else, said, "Well, did they come and spend money in Deerfield's building, or did they come and spend money?" Wait, we so you know, you, you kind of get rid of all that. I don't know if it would ever happen, but it gets rid of that kind of. Um, it would. It would get rid yeah. of that. It would just, and, and that's kind of how I sold this to um, everybody I was talking to, like Carolyn and others at, at town. I was saying, look, someone will purchase the building. They're going to remodel the building. They're going to put whatever they need into it, and they're going to give us a rent number, and we're going to pay that. And that's, and then it's done. And because you know we're all paying a part of it, we you know that way we believe in it. But if something ever happened, like. Well, whatever happens, three crazy people get on the board and end the relationship, right? Someone still owns the building. We're, we have an MOU. We're paying the rent. It's not a capital thing we have to bring up to our capital committee because it's not mm -hmm. capital in our town. But I don't know if yeah. you, really Jeff has to figure out, can that get rolled in? Is that something that yeah, – I don't know the answer. Right. We don't know. So I think just yeah. that research would – administrators can okay. can we roll all that in so it's not a cap like the the van is clearly capital and everybody's like yeah we use it it drives around all the town it's an easy thing but uh, but um putting money into a building that is not the town is a little harder i think to explain well can we still if we're able to that hundred dollar can it oh yeah no i think that that, right? that makes sense to and, me too because that was specifically what that money was right. for was Joining the town. three towns together in some sort of space. And it helps lower their costs. And it yeah. helps lower everybody's costs. Yeah. And it totally makes and sense the, to me. And I'll still, you know, I'll reach out to this person about the grant opportunities for the senior center and, and figure out what we can do with that. Um, and hopefully that's, you know, somewhere we can go forward right. with. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so, on your cost, but it's 
well, other households, yeah. prevailing wages that their costs are high enough and to make sure that everything's covered. To. It's not going to be the labor costs to be higher. It's going to be higher than <laughs> five hundred, I think. Right. I don't know. And, I mean, yeah, and um, I guess the the only other thing I would add is if we actually end up just committing to borrowing that money somehow, let's say it's not such a big burden on Sunderland to make the loan larger and uh, yep. so that this is all financed through this loan, then can right. we actually apply for grants to offset that loan? I don't know. Yeah, good question. Um, yeah. So maybe. there is. Can we really use that hundred thousand uh, dollar earmark? That's going to be a question that we need to settle pretty soon. Yeah. Um, and I know yeah. most of the capital committees aren't going to meet until January or February. Um, so right. you know, it's mostly get your stuff in by the deadline, and if you withdraw something later, that's fine, right? Or if you come in with right. a lower number later, that's fine. Um, yep. So I guess I don't see it as. Yep urgent for Jen to resubmit any of these things, uh, but just Correct. to kind of, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, but that earmark we got was from Senator Comerford's office. We have it in our account. It's from the OEA. Um, so they were not going to rescind that. Um, I think we have until June 30th. Oh, okay, good. That. I didn't know who it was. Yeah, no, it's, it's June. Okay. It's good. through so the fiscal cool. year. Yeah, not, I, I envisioned that we would use that money for purchasing equipment like furniture and stuff like whatever That'd we need. That'd be fine. You know, I, that I've, kind of stuff. I've gotten some information from like Conti up in Greenfield. Yep. And then um, the Ludlow COA director had given me the name of her company of a company in uh, West Springfield that also does used furniture yeah. and new furniture but right. that they utilized when they yep. redid their so I've made a lot of good um, headway with some of those. I don't have solidified figures because it right. depends on what units yeah. are available if you're buying used. Right. Right. Um, and then, you know, how many units those pieces. Oh, sure. I kind of don't have that yet. Until no, we, no, it's a lot of work. Until we get a designer to, to say, determine what we're going to do. Right, and maybe some stuff. of that money hires a designer to come in and figure out, okay, this, this is your space. You know, maybe we use the money for that. Like, Okay, we, we're going to get the building. We know it. So we hire this person. They come in and lay everything out, pick out your furniture, pick out yeah. all that stuff, and oh, yeah. figure out what walls need to move. And um, there's also the potential for future grants okay. for agent yeah. friendly. Um, because when you're doing the painting and some other interior renovations, you want to make it focused for people to you know, who may have some um, memory issues or whatnot yeah. um, to make it some agent dementia friendly because it is good for anyone to use with with um, the different accessibility pieces. It's good for everyone who comes right. to the door. Right, for so sure. That's yeah. really important. Great. Um, okay. All right. So statistical data? Uh, we are, we've got a couple new, um, let me just pull this up here. We had some new members over the last month, which is great. Um, at the end of January, I'm going to pull some more info, um, but I just wanted to give you some here why we were meeting this year. Um, we've been averaging 65 people per program day for this whole entire year. Um, since July, which mind you, that's when we put out our postcard mailing. Yeah. Um, July we had 75, so at 0.5, so I'm going to round up to 76. August was 73, September was 71, October 64, November 61, and so far in December 97 um, hmm. for our average attendance. Yeah. And then um, for statistics on join date for this year, we're now up to um, 136 people. Which um, custom range here? I think we're up to 255 people now. 257 new members over the two years that I've been here, um, which is phenomenal. And then I remember last meeting, Dan, you were happy to see the um, the full event statistics with you know, not just how many unduplicated people 
But um, for this for this year, I want to show you. Actually, I need to do this year instead of last year too. For this year, we've um, had. Um, let's go with around 351 people, but a total event sign in over 13,000 people or 13,154 times. Oh. And that information, uh, Chris and I are working on making sure it's really accurate and updated for the you know for January before I go in front of all the um, yeah the finance committee meeting. Okay. Um, and we've also broken it down based on towns or, you know, like, out-of-town people right. with groups. So we have around non-senior or non-South County residents. And this includes Conway, which mm -hmm. we have 14 people from Conway in this count. Um, but we have around 111 older adults come from other towns right. for, to our center. Okay. So... That's, you know, that's, that's good pretty data. good. Yep. Um, Budgets? Yep, that's where we're moving to here. Um, but like I said, the end of January, we'll have more firm statistical data. Okay. All right, for the budget discussion. Well, as we all know, we got another grant um, this for 119.953.94. We had to memorize that. <laughs> um, so that brings us for particular information, and this is what I was going to bring up before. We have built in this most recent grant something that's not included on the budget, and I wanted to talk about this first really fast. So I built in a part-time um, salary for a, another employee to work for 15 hours a week for approximately 40 weeks. So. One of the things that I can do with this money, it was $12,096 um, and then $175.39 for indirect costs, like their mm -hmm. uh, their, fight, uh, their um, Medicare yeah. costs, because it's 1.45%. So I added that when I yeah. did the grant writing. Then we have administrative hours at $9,548. That covers my salary, the support staff salary, and then... I can use some of that to offset the um, administrative, well, I don't know if I can really offset the administrative overhead mm -hmm. with that, but I can take the money from our salary points, which would then be able to go towards paying that additional $3,000 and then the, um, mm -hmm. you know, for that. So that's why I indicated um, on the fund 290, which is our regular operations budget, yeah. which is this one. So you should, oh, that yeah, one? Sorry. Yeah. Um, did you get that? I think so. Yeah, okay. So I put in red my salary, Chris Drew's salary, and yeah. then the carry forward funds. Yeah. The reason being is those are all subject to different changes and to different variables, including all the grants. Right. So Chris uh, received money from the Mass in Motion grant. Mm -hmm. His uh, this all covers his salary. The Mass in Motion grant through FERCOG, the, um, we get reimbursements through the Department of Transitional Assistance and SNAP, uh, which is we get reimbursed. So it's based on how much, how much work we do with uh, SNAP participants and, and people we add, talk about it to, et cetera. Um, and then there is the SIG transportation grant. Um, we get some monies towards his salary from that. Then we also get money um, from uh, the SIG outreach, which we utilize all of that up. So, uh, just yep. narrowing down. So the outreach is outreach um, budget is Chris or is yep the okay. outreach budget is Chris and that's split fifty fifty between two ninety one and two ninety. Yep. Okay. The reason being that's is fine. that um, yeah. You know, we, we've got additional funding in 291, so right. I figured make it equally split okay. between the two if we could afford it. 
um, in the, the formula. The program uh, assistant would is really just under the 291. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So good. the formula and then yours pays is for all, all of that. The 290. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that was one of the things I read in the memo that Diane had talked about yeah. moving things around. I just wanted so to make sure I solidified were those. Yeah. The, because the formula fund grant is built into the state legislative budget, mm -hmm. that amount is never going away. Right. It actually increased this year from $14 per older adult age 60 and up yep. from $12 to $14. So we're guaranteed that for at least another 10 years. Um, okay, good. Because if they use the federal Since census budget or yep. information. Yep. And... Um, Okay. So, you know, that is subjected to going up. I don't believe it will be subject to going down. Um, so, I, All right. the other cost at this point, um, I, do, I will not have the group insurance, life insurance, and retirement information until, oh, until after uh, December 18th. That's another variable that's going to right. happen with our salary um, information is the Deerfield Personnel Board, which for our employer purposes under the INA, we're Deerfield Town employees. Mm -hmm. So that percentage, um, they could do a COLA increase up yep. to 3% three, 3 I think. <coughs> Group insurance um, will probably be a 6% increase. 6% increase? That's my guess. Yeah, we I, don't we know weren't yet, sure. But that's probably about that. Okay. And you're right, we we're, we're, think they're gonna talk about three and then the select board will figure three or two and a half or whatever. Yeah. Plus, um, in July, we'll all go up a step, um, a step increase. Correct. So it, depending on what that pool is, that will also affect the, um, the step increase amount. Yeah. So, um, so I went up to 14000 for the retirement because I wasn't sure what the percentage was going to be from um, the retirement group. Yep. Franklin County. It, yeah. But I figured, you know, approximate because Chris and I are both contributing to that now, but mm -hmm. Chris didn't start until March go or April going or March or April going full time hours. So mm -hmm. um that's included in that. And then with the Medicare, that's based on the one point four five percent. Yep. Um so that should be accurate. And Brenda Hill, our town accountant, gave us the ballpark of eleven thousand dollars for the administrative overhead. Because, because we've grants. gotten all these grants, so now mm -hmm. we're creating more work. Yeah, but it, we're getting great money for it, so yeah, it makes sense. So even okay. though you know it's an additional three thousand dollars, it's we're getting a lot more for it. At yeah, this point. I don't know if I'll continue to bring in hundred thousand dollar grants. You you've hit but, it out of the park this year, but Jen. I'm trying. <laughs> um, Keep trying. Thanks. Very so, good. My senior center, the base cost is still going to be thirteen hundred. Like I mentioned at the beginning. Um, we are looking at an additional $300 if we want to base it on a local telephone Can number. Can you explain that to Joyce? Because she wasn't yes. here for that first We were part. just talking about it offhand before Joyce. Um, so mm -hmm. my senior center, I can do a broadcast um, telephone call to the seniors. It's similar to like Red uh, Code Red, most of the communities use or something comparable. But the phone number is a Belmont, Massachusetts number, which has a 617 area code. So a lot of mm -hmm. seniors don't answer because we tell them, you don't know a number, let it yeah. go to voicemail. So for right. an additional $300 through my senior center, they will use a more local number or use like spoof our number to do it. Now, however, so that's the under our 290 data collection services. My senior center, that's part of that budget. Yeah. Loan. And yeah. that's yeah. why it's going yeah. up that by would... $200. It will still leave a voicemail, correct? It, it, it will just may still not, leave a voicemail. Yeah, they wouldn't so, answer it personally. Right. So right. I do tell them yeah. to listen to their voicemails anyway. Right. So that's not a cost that we really have to incur. It's, it's just, just something that thought. I like, wanted to bring it forward because it's a new option that they started offering this year, okay. but I did not go forward with it because I wasn't sure how we'd pay for it in the future. Okay. Um, so just throwing that out there. Right. Yeah. So the, uh, the IT security software stays the same. That's basically to include the cost of one laptop should one mm -hmm. of ours pass away mm -hmm. um, and to also provide for IT services yeah. um, on our end if staff needs help. Um, which, you know, at various points, there's been, you know, things wrong with computers or yep. just 
connecting with IT. So that helps pay the contractor that does the IT services for Deerfield. Um, so those costs are in there. Plus, I believe our security wall, I forget what that thing is called. Um, it's, yeah, it's like $5 a year, I yeah, think. That's um, okay. So that includes that. Um, I went through and estimated our oil from last year. It was around $2,000, but I kept it at $2,500 because if we do move into this new space, I have no idea right. what we will be looking at for um, for energy I costs asked, and how we would split that with Sunderland. I had asked um, the realtor if they could get any kind of debt, like how much was the landscaping, how like any kind of bills that – he could pass on. I don't know if Jeff got any of those yet or whatever. We really just love to know. I mean, we know it won't be exact, but any kind of reoccurring bills that are common that we could get an understanding for. Um, okay. Yep. Um, so electricity around the theme. Um, the janitorial supplies are more expensive because the um, we're using a cleaning service. They do a fabulous job. They come in once a week and thoroughly do everything, and it's three hundred and fifty four dollars for the whole month. Um, so it you know it encompasses the one one time a week, and they do like this whole place top to bottom. Mm -hmm. When we go to a new space, um, I wonder how that's going to work because right. I'm going to say this politely. Not everyone has great bathroom usage yeah. abilities, right. and you know there are times over at the church sure. for cleaning up yeah. things sure. that happen. It just happens. Sure, it sure happens. So sometimes you know you may have to have someone. Mm -hmm. I don't know what our expense is going to look like with that. We'll have to. We'll have and to we'll deal have with more. That. We'll have far more bathrooms. Yeah. And and it'll be a larger space. So we'll I don't know. Get, Sunderland if we get it, part we get of it, et cetera. These people say, "Go take a look at it. What would it cost?" Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, so let's see. Yeah, so that's where I'm at for there. And I went up on the electric because uh -huh. our electric – what am I looking at the right line? Our electric yeah. bill was higher okay. here or higher here than yeah. it was over at the other space. But our oil was lower than, like, our gas expense over at the other space okay. or for our usage, but I'm balancing it out by keeping them consistent. Yeah. I just went up on the electric because I know at the other space there's a lot more light and other things too. Right. Um, and January 1st, and the, you, uh, the aggregation rate is going up. Um, right. Yeah. About five cents a kilowatt hour, which is still better than oh, getting yeah. it from, uh, it's still better than getting it from, uh, what's his name, uh, Eversource. But um, oh, that yeah. real sweet deal we had for the default so uh, electricity is, no. is still a pretty good deal, but it's not, it, that's yeah. when the jump is happening, January. Uh, this year, yep. so it might actually hit our budget this year first, and but so for next year, that seems completely reasonable. Yeah. Okay. And what um, you added for gas because you have another vehicle. Uh, no, that's under vehicle expenditures. Right. In a different yeah. Category. Here, just down below. Oh, I'm one. sorry, yep. I'm, I'm splitting up at the okay. other. Yep. I can't read small writing, so I have That's to throw right. it up for my li my That's liking. Okay. Um, repairs and parts, I just got for $100 here because miscellaneous things happen. You need to go get a yep. hammer or a garden no, hose fine. or whatever. Um, yep. Snow removal landscaping, that's about the ballpark of what we ended up paying last year through a Hearn Landscaping yeah. Services to plow the um, – for here? The parking lot here. Okay. Now, mind you, that does not include garden landscaping, like the summertime lawn mowing, et cetera. The, um, the landlord oh, did that for us here. So we just have to take care of the snow. Yeah, we have no clue what it was going to That's a big ticket over there. Yeah, because that's, that's a big ticket. That's just under four acres. Right. So it's, it's a really good space. but um, That number's probably going to have to change if we bought that, yeah. if we got that space. Well, I'm also wondering, too, um, when we talk about that purchase price and then the IMA and whatever and then figuring out what Sunderland is going to pay, mm -hmm. you know, if we put that into the rent exactly. fee. Exactly. Instead right. of breaking it down, or we break right. it down. You know, either I'm one. open to either. Yeah, yeah. We'll have however, to look at we that. reflect it. Cause, sure. And then when we present that number, we can say it includes X, Y, and Z. Right. Um, gas maintenance, yes, I did go up to 3000 yep. because 
We just got our calipers, our brakes, and our oil change done for, for both front and rear, rear axles plus in the oil change for the whole vehicle. Um, and it was around 12, yeah. 1200 bucks for money. that. Yep. So, um, and then that. we're getting new tires on Friday. Okay. Um, and we're getting the municipal rate, so it shouldn't be too expensive. Um, but, you know, we're cutting into that. Um, yeah. But we're also getting some money through the SIG transportation grant that was six. I think that was sixteen thousand nine twenty, mm-hmm. and so we're okay. able to offset some of those expenses with that plus donations we get. Um, the newsletter, the newsletter cost may go down. The reason I say that is because um, I just got a lease for a brand new printer, um, scanner, copier. Um, it's like forty eight hundred dollars to purchase, or one hundred twenty three dollars including labor, toner, everything. Including toner. Yes. Wow. It was That's plus expensive. expensive. So um, we're getting that uh, within a month or two. Okay. But it's only like $123 a month. Mm-hmm. So um, it's going to reduce our cost because we've been paying deer field for the, for right. the copy cost. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's still going to have to pay postage. And I know postage has gone up, mm-hmm. although we get a discount, you know, with the municipal rate or whatnot. But it's still... Yeah. So I still figured twenty five hundred dollars. It could go down. Okay. Um, four hundred dollars mileage reimbursement. It does yep. like you know when we go on conferences sure. and stuff. Yep. Equipment. I don't foresee us really needing any equipment anytime soon because I've been able to get enough secure enough grants. But right. I left it in there because I figure keeping two hundred and fifty dollars yeah. in there. We just carry it forward for, yep. for a special revenue fund if we don't use it anyway. Um, three thousand dollar miscellaneous cost. So. Okay. The tent for the picnic mm-hmm. um, is usually what is, right. is that. It may actually go over, but um, for our informational fair and cruise night, mm-hmm. um, we were able to use mass and motion funds for that. And that grant, we've been told, is a 10-year grant right. or 10-year project. So okay. hopefully we'll be able to continue to utilize funds from that for the other event because of the space. Now, the other cost uh, for the um, program space and admin office here, that's, you know, the um, 36, a little over 36000 Um Is that going to need to change? We, I don't know. So should should we bump that up to, you know, to the... Um, well, what's the 4000 We could bump it up to four. We could bump it up to five, depending on... Right. We're uh, we're talking. I'm I'm trying to follow along here. I feel like I got lost somewhere along the way. Oh, we're under sorry. expenses category four hundred. Is that right? Okay. Um, we talked about the newsletter. Did you hear that with the copy? Okay, part? yeah, that part. Okay, and I was looking down below that, and I feel like I got lost. That's okay. Well, yeah. we went through the um. The last one was miscellaneous expenses. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, no, I found it. I found it. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Sorry so about that. The... It's okay. <laughs> You're virtual. It's understandable. Um, so the program space and the admin office space is around a little over thirty-six thousand right now. But if we bumped it up to five thousand, just that'd bring us up to sixty thousand dollars. Um, at four thousand, it's forty-eight, right? Yeah, four times yeah, four thousand times twelve is forty-eight thousand. So minus because it's contingent on if we get. I mean, when we go and have these yep. budget discussions, we really we can just say look. So it's an increase of eleven thousand four sixty if we go up to the four thousand a month a month. Mm-hmm. And that's where I told staff we were based, probably at. So I don't know if we could do five or not. Why don't we do the 48 for now, and then we may have to adjust it next month and, you know, so, before we settle it? Let this. Do you want me to go in here and change the wording um, to, like, I could? I have to leave one of these line items right. in here. Do you want me to just take out one cost and put in a total of 48000 That's fine. It, 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 and with a note contingent on move, yep. you know, that kind of thing. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think it would okay. be important, like, because if, if, I guess in the past you had two separate lines for that, right? Program space, 
an admin right. space. Yeah. Um, it might be prudent to just put in a new line that doesn't have any yeah. cost to it and call it program <laughs> and admin space. Oh, and yeah. that's a projected right. one, and it's contingent on a lot of things. So, um, but that right. number is the bigger number, and if we have to go back and revise it, then we we delete that line and just fill in the 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 other two, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Are we, are we good with the forty eight thousand then, or do we? Are I think we, that's where we start. I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we go to sixty, I think we're going to get a lot of pushback. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, yeah, it's almost uh, a thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, as um, I mentioned earlier, the carry forward funds are in red again because that's subjected to how much the COLA goes, how mm -hmm. much the other things are, and what I don't spend. Um, I was able to carry forward instead of just the twenty five ninety one. I carry forward over twenty six thousand dollars into this you're looking fiscal at year. Fifteen. Well, you're looking at fifteen. Almost sixteen for the two ninety one, and then another yep. like fifty six for the plus. One. If you look at the bottom of, and not to confuse you, Joyce, we're looking at two ninety one for a second. Uh, the so other if one. You look at the, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm just moving this, these around on my screen. Okay, if I go back to that one, okay. Yep. So if you notice at the bottom, there's three thousand two hundred ninety eight dollars to carry forward into the other fiscal year. Oh, interesting. So. The reason being is um, I figured if I don't have to spend it and I can carry it forward, I want to carry it forward. But it, there's so many variables with all of the different grants. Um, yeah, I don't actually see a 3,000, but I see a 7,208 in parentheses for carry forward funds. For yep, that was for 2024. And then the next column over says 15,759. Oh, okay. Sorry, it came out sounding like three thousand something. <laughs> yep. We'll okay, fifteen thousand. That makes more sense because I can find that number on the page. And the parentheses means but, um, this is um, subtracting from the other costs, right? right? That's what the parentheses mean. Okay. Yeah. Yep. But if you go down to the bottom line, where uh -huh. it says. The increase slash decrease, and it says three thousand two hundred ninety-eight. At the very bottom. At the very bottom. bottom. At the very bottom. That dollar increase decrease is three thousand two hundred ninety-eight. Yeah. That would be moved over to um, twenty twenty-six. That's my goal. Hmm. Okay. If we if we don't if we have to spend it to make everyone happy, I will spend it. Yeah. But I'm trying to be prudent with the money. We okay. have a little bit. We can look at that again. So, all right, that's um, a good review. But that's where I'm at for the draft budget. Um, okay. I won't have any official numbers for everyone to look at. And I know that the meeting on the 13th is going to be specific for our IMA. Yeah. But Jeff. Kravitz has asked me to present on the 22nd to Sunderland for okay. my budget. All so right. I don't know if, are we going to be able to do another meeting before I go do that? Well, we could, I mean, if you need to hit on a couple things at the 13th when we're done, yes. maybe. Does that okay. make sense so we don't have another meeting? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Because that'll be easy. Yeah. Um. All right. Anything else on the budget discussion? No. All right, last quick thing. So on Jan or yeah, January, excuse me, I'm jumping a month. December 15th, we're having our ugly sweater holiday party All at right. the Waitley uh, Town Hall, the renovated town hall across from the Waitley Inn at 10.30 in, in the morning. Oh, or, yeah, 10.30. Um, we're going to have Santa. We're going to have good food. We're going to have Ruth Leahy um, doing the musical entertainment. Right. Then on Christmas Day, we're doing the holiday meals again. Yeah. So if we any have help? any seniors who are 60 and or 55 and older who want a free meal to reach out to us at the center so to we, sign up. Do um, we have any, um, anything posted out on Facebook about I that? I just any posted that today. That we have some volunteers already. We're also um, 
I probably have about four. I already have like seven volunteers already. Um, I need seniors to sign up for meals. Right. That's what we need to get out <laughs> so, to everybody. Say, yep. hey. I'm doing a, um, we're doing flyers. We'll have those out at center this okay. week. We'll also be doing an email broadcast of, um, and a mailing. And if we can get it on uh, Facebook. Chat. And Chris is going to be doing an article great. about Thank it. You. Chris Laird. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Um, so uh, I touched base Does with Tom Chris about that. Does Tom need help about anything like um, club or anything? No, they no. Help? If okay. they do, he basically tasked me with advertising and okay. signing up People. seniors and, and volunteers. And everything else. All right. Yep. I'll reach um, out to him then. So we can do that. Great. Um, then on December 29th, we're doing Countdown to Noon. We are going to have Chicken okay. Wire for our entertainment. All right. Um, so those are our big events in uh, December. And that'll be at the church? That will be at the church. Okay. Um, and yeah. I think that's it right now Great. for what we have for December. Sounds fun. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm. Anything else? Um, just to let you know that we interviewed several folks um, the, and for, for the program okay. coordinator position, um, the person that we Myself, um, the interview committee, myself, Casey Warren, and Chris Nolan, the ATA for Deerfield. Um, we did interviews. We put forward a name that will be announced at the select board meeting tomorrow for appointment. Okay. And then we'll offer the position to the person once the select board makes the appointment. Great. Right. You're happy um, with the choice? Yes. Very okay, happy. Good. Very, very happy. Okay. I think um, this person will be a great addition to the team. And they bring a plethora of different background experience working with a different diversity of folk, of people. Great. So, um, you know, good. and during the interview process, really outside the, the norm thinking for how to bring in community partners and some other ideas. So good. it was very impressed. All right. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Or I move adjourn. we adjourn. I'll second it then. Okay. Great. Thank you. 1828. All those in favor. All right. Trevor McDaniel. Hi. Thank you, Joyce. Thank All right. You thanks. Sorry for, sorry oh, yeah. for messing up the meeting. Oh, yeah.